Hey, this is Sachlevavi from LinkedInNerve.com and in this video I've got another one of my favorite classical guitar pieces to teach you. Um, and the reason it's one of my favorites is because it makes a really strong impression on anybody who hears you and watches you play and because it seems really difficult and yet it's really easy to play because there's a picking pattern that repeats itself throughout the piece and um, once you get it going it's just chords all the way. It's Caprice in D minor by Matteo Carcassi and first I'm gonna play it and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick. Sounds like this. It's a great composition. I love the sound of it. Um, the harmony. So, picking pattern. Let's take D minor, the most common chord in this piece. It's in D minor, of course. It's in the name. So, um, it's in the title name. So, of course, let's quit babbling and begin playing. The picking pattern is this. You play the bass note and then you pick strings three two three one three two three three two three one three two three okay so bass note three two three one three two three that's it that's the picking pattern throughout the piece so um Let's take this three chords at a time. It begins with D minor, of course. Then moves along to D sharp seven with a D bass. It's a cool chord. Then D minor again. Okay, so that's the first line of the piece. It's D minor, D sharp 7 with a D bass D minor again and then you play this little lick 0, 2, 3, 0 on the D bass with this note between them so first complete line of this piece is this Then second line A D minor A and you want to put the A chord like this with just your third finger on the second string and your second finger on the third string and then all you've got to do for D minor is just sliding your third finger and adding your first okay so A D minor A D minor with an A bass, by the way. Sorry, I forgot that. Okay? A bass all the way. And then just leave your second finger on on the second fret of the third string and pick on the A bass 0, 2, 4, 0. Okay? And then D minor again. And remember the first lick? Now do it backwards. Okay, zero, three, two, zero. So together it sounds like this. A, D minor with an A bass, D minor. D minor. Now comes an interesting series of chords. C7. Now this lick. Keep the C chord on. Okay, it's C bass. 
D bass. D bass on the second fret. It's an E note. Then C bass again. So it's three, zero, two, three. Then F. A7 with an E bass. Just bar the second, uh, the second fret and add the seventh on third fret, first string. So F, A7 with an E bass, D minor. Now B flat. Again, you don't need your second finger. You don't need to pick it, so just leave it here. And it's easier to uh, put the chord quickly this way. Then leave the pinky and the third finger on and just press the G bass. It's G minor... Um, it's G minor 6. Okay, so B flat G minor 6, A. And then you just uh, arpeggiate the D minor, arpeggiate the D sharp 7 with the D bass, and just pick the D minor as you're used to by now. So. Then do the same for D minor, A, D minor again. And then D minor sus2 with an F bass. You can play it like this. Oh, actually it's not sus2. You, you don't pick the sus2. Or you can use your thumb. D minor with an A bass. D minor. This actually it's D5 to be precise. So D5 with an F bass, D5 with an A bass, D minor. And second time around it's F bass, A bass, and just from the D minor. So, let's go back to the chord progression, C7. F, A7 with an E bass, D minor, B flat, G minor 6, A, arpeggios, regular D minor, arpeggios, regular D minor, D5 with an F bass, A bass, D minor, F bass, A bass, D minor. It might look confusing at first, but everything does when you learn it the first time. Remember, it seems confusing now, but there's a really, really clear and uh, easy pattern to this once you memorize it so now there are three things you can do first one is subscribe to my channel of course and keep updated with all the new lessons I've got to offer and I upload a new lesson every couple of days or so and the second thing of course is these lessons are free and will always be free and all I ask in return is for you to share them Share these lessons. If you like this lesson, please share it and let people know that Lick and Riff is out there, that Lick and Riff and these lessons and this channel and the website, lickandriff.com, is out there with all the lessons available for everybody to learn and benefit and get better and just learn new things on the guitar. And um, of course, the third thing you can do is to go practice this and get it on your fingers and play it and enjoy it and um, just impress everybody with this piece because it's awesome. It's one of the best 
short classical pieces for guitar, in my opinion. So go practice this, go get this under your fingers, and I'll see you the next lesson. Thanks for watching.